Well, last week, Mark talked about his love for life on Mars. This week, he turns his attention to a neo-Western crime drama series which ran from 2008 to 2013. I got the Breaking Bad habit very late in the day when my wife and son finally persuaded me to watch it by comparing the series to King Lear, my favourite Shakespeare play. The epic tale of Walter White, the downtrodden high school chemistry teacher, and his transformation into Heisenberg, a ruthless criminal, is a daunting 62 hours long. But once I got going, there was no stopping me. Sometimes I'd watch four episodes back to back when the mood took me. Ryan Johnson, one of my favorite directors, helmed three episodes of Breaking Bad, including Ozymandias, often cited as the very best installment, and one that some people think is the worst, Fly. Like The Last Jedi, Johnson's controversial entry in the Star Wars canon, Fly is divisive and contentious, but I love it. Although highly unusual, it perfectly embodies the incredible writing and acting, the bold tone and startling visuals of the series. Fly comes almost exactly halfway through Breaking Bad. Walter and his sidekick Jesse are about to cook up industrial quantities of methamphetamine when White becomes obsessed with a fly that's loose in their secret underground lab. When we say it's contamination, I mean, I'm thinking like a, like an Ebola leak or something. The entire episode is devoted to their attempts to kill the insect. It's what's called in the TV business a bottle episode, a term which seems to refer to the characters being bottled up, which was actually coined by the creator of the 1960s series The Outer Limits to mean a show that's pulled together cheaply using a single set and skeleton cast, like pulling a genie out of a bottle. Famous examples range from the celebrated Seinfeld episode Chinese Restaurant to the maroon segment of Red Dwarf. What in God's name is going on here? As Walter and Jesse struggle with the fly and each other, the ongoing series narrative is seemingly abandoned to present a weird bit of two-handed theater that at first glance seems to be about absolutely nothing, very much like Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. A lot of the action in Fly is pure silent cinema, the slapstick comedy of Chaplin or Keaton or Laurel and Hardy. Now, I love silent movies because they reveal character in a visual way. Look at this eloquent sequence from Fly. See how this classic fly-swatting sight gag is inspired by the brutal physical comedy of the Three Stooges. And of course, a stepladder is the perfect prop to supply both tension and laughs. Let it go. But crucially, what's so vivid and affecting about Fly is that broad comedy sits right alongside tragedy, just as it does in Lear. Jesse and Walter share terrible events in their lives which emerge in touching dialogue amid the crazy action of their hunt for the titular fly. I've lived too long. Fly got low ratings at the time and has garnered some pretty nasty comments on the web. But for me, it's one of the most bizarrely intriguing Breaking Bad episodes, an audacious slice of drama that literally locks us down with the main characters as they reveal themselves and their inner demons. In the words of Gloucester in King Lear, as flies to wanton boys are we to the gods, they kill us for their sport. This girl 